Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel, hope all is well. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for you all, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest. If there's anything that you need to know in regards to how to get a reading, please go ahead and email me as all the links and emails and everything you need to know will be in the description box down below. If you guys haven't taken the time to support me on this channel or my other channel, be sure to do so and click the bell notification so you're notified every time I post. So the energy that I'm getting here or that I'm picking up on is that someone could be in a marital situation with their spouse that might be bullied. There could be some uh, marital issues where another person is very dominant over their, their spouse and it's making someone uh, very timid. Okay, someone wants to break free from any like mental blockage. I'm hearing that you need to start talking to, to certain people to try to figure out what you should do. I'm hearing that you're trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt, but it's like someone's taking full advantage of this. You just don't want to fall for the BS anymore. Yeah, someone's being manipulated, okay? And isolating this individual, marital isolation, marital bullying, trying to tell this person what to do, how to feel. Yeah. Okay. I'm hearing that you, you can't bring yourself to leave this person. This could be male or female, doesn't really matter. Whoever's doing... The bullying in this relationship. Someone feels alone because they don't really have family or whatever. Someone needs to get out while, while they still can is what I'm getting here. Because you're going to keep going through injustices. You need to protect yourself and your family. If you do have uh, children with this individual, look. Someone's looking to get a divorce. I'm hearing someone's being threatened. Threatened with spell work. So someone is very spiritual. Someone trying to figure out what they need to do. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. The numbers 45, 15, 31, 41, and 56 could be significant. Tell me more for Virgo Holy Spirit. What do we need to know? Give us clear and concise messages for Virgo. So Spirit is saying that whatever um, is being confirmed for you through what you should do, the answer is yes. You are divinely guided at this time. Do something to change your energy. Spirit is saying do something to switch up your in, your situation if that's something that you don't feel comfortable dealing with anymore. Okay? You are already doing it. Stop overthinking. Your, keep facing your true north. Keep going on the path that you need to go on. Okay? Tell me more. hearing this person is big on dictatorship telling you what to do how to feel how to speak and this is supposed to be a marriage look reconciliation so they're afraid that you could be going back to someone that you've been dealing with for quite some time or used to deal with yeah, I'm hearing that you just thought that you would tell him what's going on, whoever this dark-haired man is, your ex, and this person thinks that you're going around sleeping with this individual, okay? I think this is why they feel like they have to have so much control over this person. They don't want you to have any friends. They don't want you to have any ties towards anybody from your past, especially, I'm hearing this person has even threatened you 
and this other individual like this other individual is an ex and is an ex for a reason this male could be between 38 and 47 I'm also seeing the number 28 so someone's thinking like aftermath like what they want to do or what life looks like um, like in real time what they're gonna do someone's afraid of losing you but someone here would also k-i-l-l -L for you okay this is like a fatal attraction type energy someone has changed over time i'm hearing this person was never like this before you were with them here let's see who you're connecting to this person that you have this toxic marriage with what do we need to know whether masculine or feminine so this person is feeling unworthy of having love in their life they feel miserable and lost so this person is going through something but it's not you if you've ever felt like questioning yourself was it you it's not you it has everything to do with them and them feeling emotionally displaced we are living two separate lives so you guys don't align um, anymore as you used to things have changed and that's what i picked up on okay tell me more what's going on what is it that we need to know for virgo so we have the ego, triumph over obstacles. Yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, is like a great friend. Even though you had a relationship with this individual before this dark man, they, they, they give you the support. They extend the support that you need. Whoever this person is, this could be an ex-friend or an ex-lover. I do feel like it's, it's an ex-lover or someone that you might have dated previously. I'm hearing that like this person is saying like if you ever need to talk or if you want me to talk to this person I will be willing to do that you know just because we are together does not mean that I won't support you okay and try to make sure that you are feeling secure let's see whoops Let's see why this person feels so unworthy. Where is this energy coming from? Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or someone that has Scorpio in their chart. That's one of the signs that I'm feeling. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups. Someone here finds you very youthful, very pretty, very beautiful, but they just don't know how to connect with you. I'm hearing that this person dwells a lot on when they first met you versus now, and they feel like you might at some point outgrow them. I don't know why I'm getting that energy. Yeah, but I'm hearing that this person's like having issues trying to take charge. Yeah, they don't know how to take a... a, a the leap of faith in the right direction yeah this person is digressing they feel like things are digressing between the two of you you guys may not have much in common so they feel like they're losing you to to whatever this is okay this person may have had a, a hiccup in being productive or having a job um finding finding uh their purpose um i do feel like they're going to pick that back up however this person is feeling like y'all are just living two separate lives the connection is not as strong as it used to be like i said the lovers and the queen of cups yeah they feel like everything that they've tried to do or used to do you're not really into anymore or vice versa okay Tell me more about what's going on so third position we have two cards popping out there's a dark man 
and vulture so virgo if you're dealing with someone here at this time or someone that could be in your family group it doesn't always have to be romantic there's like some sort of static between the two of you it's like running in the same circles as this person doesn't seem so fun anymore i'm also getting that you could be going through depression or this could be your person i really do think that this is your person i feel like your level of elevation is going up and this person is digressing like i said before okay so yeah i see increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals okay so someone needs to put more effort into being a better spouse being a better individual trying to um revamp themselves and what they want and and trying to pinpoint what it is that they need to do better in or whatever this may mean for you okay someone here is about to step into a new experience in the month of august i do see some unsettling times with family children um etc but i don't think it'll last too long here okay tell me more what's going on what do we need to know what's here sudden wealth is in reverse number 11 so something could be off someone here could have had a hiccup in their finances i'm hearing you guys could have gotten married young or you are a young couple yeah, someone here might have gotten sick and may have had to pay medical bills. And that's how money might have gone out of pocket here. So I do see here that there's a younger male that might have legal proceedings that they need to tend to. I'm also getting that a judge is... is um, I don't know if someone's on child support or they have children outside of this relationship, but this person hasn't been working or someone's trying to get some sort of uh, government assistance because they're not working or someone needs to get uh, unemployment benefits. I don't know what this is here, but let's see what else is going on. What do we need to know? is thinking or having you in his, his thoughts or vice versa the numbers 5 11 23 and 16 could be the dates of when you were born the dates um, like september 5th september 11th september 23rd and september 16th could be dates that you were born on i'm also getting distant look uh, I, I was going to say location someone here might be trying to go out of the country or moving Someone wants some sort of new, newer energy to come through for them. Someone's in their thoughts over this feminine here. Someone's trying to figure out how they can surprise their, their person. What's here for Virgo? What do we need to know? There's going to be some sort of fulfillment. Like I said, this male is thinking a lot about how they can, you know, kind of spark that chemistry again. I'm hearing someone's very funny. Someone has a very, uh, very peculiar sense of humor. Someone doesn't want to overdo something. Someone's overthinking that they're going to overdo something that may um, that may make someone like fleet. Someone's kind of like 
very nonchalant doesn't really put in the effort anymore someone's gonna try to someone needs to try to find some sort of balance someone might not be able to get anything because they're struggling with money oh it's so hot today Maybe someone's taking time apart because it seems like the more that they think about what it is that they need to do for their person, it's like they get frantic or scared and they don't know how to bring this conversation to this individual. Yeah, this man is trying to get all up in this woman's head like, what else am I supposed to do? Like, I feel like I'm losing my person, but... I don't want to go all out and then she thinks I'm doing too much and then it kind of scares her off or vice versa, okay? Someone has a lot of inner child wounding or things that might have happened in the past that they're not fully healed from and it's like spilling over into this relationship or this marriage. Someone needs to like make a decision because the more cold that you are you're going to lose your person even more someone here is trying to warm up to like family um, having children creating this new beginning yeah someone someone here needs to be open to having a family maybe y'all don't have children together but they might have had children uh, before this relationship God it's hot today y'all something is non-activating someone doesn't know how they i'm hearing that someone's trying to put themselves in the mind of a feminine what would a feminine want what do they need someone needs some pointers because it doesn't look like they know their person anymore that's how you can tell something is disconnected okay that's how you can tell something is disconnected between these two individuals Okay, so the feminine is coming back out. So there's a feminine that is a earth sign that someone doesn't deal with. Someone's trying to like rationalize wh what they're feeling or thinking. Maybe someone's thinking back to their past or the person that they used to deal with or what life would look like if this person wasn't around. Yeah, spark is in reverse. There is no spark between you and this individual anymore. Okay. Let's get some love messages. What's here? What's here? For Virgo. What do we need to know? So Spirit is saying that you need to allow spontaneity to come back into a relationship because that's something that is very important it keeps the relationship spicy i'm also getting uh positive affirmations you know um you know people tend to feed off of others especially you know if you're into energy i am big on energy i believe like if something doesn't feel right i won't act upon certain things i won't come towards you if i'm feeling your energy or aura out but if the energy is right things will fall into place where you will have positive you know reinforcements Tell me more, 
So yeah. I'm hearing like you need to start telling each other that you love each other. I'm hearing someone has been together with their partner for a long time and you're starting to realize that you don't say that you love each other as much anymore. You just grew very comfortable with one another that you guys understand that the love is there, but actually hearing it and you know knowing it or feeling it is two different things. Okay? Someone here likes to hear that they're being loved. Exactly. Someone here wants you to express what you feel, what you think, you know, what you want. And someone doesn't do that anymore because they're afraid, they're, they're in fear of failure. It's like they don't want to jinx anything. Someone's, you know what it is? I'm getting here that someone's playing things too safe because they don't want to lose someone and they don't want to be too clingy because they remember a time where they might have lost someone to clinginess or they may have ran or fleeted from a relationship that this person came off too clingy, okay? That's the energy that I'm getting. Look. For some of you, you might unexpectedly see yourself falling for this individual, but it's hard to express, okay? Look, I can't make this up. Look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Mutual feelings. You two might really love each other, but might have never said it, but shown it. But like I said, it's two different things. From, from knowing this person loves you before they even get to say it, if that's the case, or having it said to you after a conversation is two different things, you know? Um, I do want to see what this person is thinking in their lighter energy that they might be holding back. here for the person that's on your mind or who you're thinking about who this situation is in regards to what do they need you to know for Virgo I know it is unfair to you and at the bottom I am stuck my finance is a mess so this may be the reason why they've been distant and not distant as in you two not being in the same living space but distant emotionally okay why is virgo's person saying i know it is unfair to you what is unfair they haven't been able to do nice things because they're struggling they have other bills to pay or other um, obligations like ch children okay I'm seeing the King of Swords. They might, might, they might not have the right uh, mindset or ideas to um, tell you what's going on or the decisions that they're making. Yeah, they may have other obligations. Okay, this person might have been unfaithful. You might not even know that they have other children, but I, I got this in the reading, and it's coming up twice. Ten of Cups in reverse. Someone ended up cheating and having a child outside of wedlock because of someone that they were codependent on or that they might have been dealing with here, okay? So they're going through the motions and I don't think that they're expressing it the way that they should. Yeah, they're blocking you out, okay? They're not putting enough trust in you being there for them. They want to deal with this on their own. So it's like they're emotionally stepping down from the relationship and it's it's building a, a wedge between the two of you where you guys are going in two different directions that's crazy and it's sad i'm hearing this person wants to build a life with you they want to build some sort of stable foundation however they want to make sure that this 
Ace of Cups energy, the, the conflict, you know, um, the separation emotionally does not turn into something bigger with the tower, okay? Someone's name could be Mario. I'm hearing that song, I Don't Want to Know by Mario Winans. is expecting a call from you or some sort of line of communication so that you guys can hash out some things. I do feel like there is divorce on the table. Someone here might be friend zone. Someone may be bowing out and saying maybe we should just be friends or go back to being friends is what I'm getting here. Someone is wearing a false self mask and there's codependency. I talked about both of this. So it looks like this person is more attached to the to the individual that they were dealing with that they cheated on you with. Okay? Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship and the addictions are affecting their romantic lives. That's why you guys are going in two different directions. Okay? Someone hasn't healed their family issues. They might have family issues that they're dealing with. Someone here needs to let their friends help them because it's ruining their, their connections romantically. Everything that I'm saying is already coming out in the reads. That is insane. The Empress is in reverse with abundance. So what I'm getting here is that there's a feminine energy that might not feel like she's done her duty as a woman to keep something very fresh and fruitful. She doesn't feel like she is attractive. She might have a low self-esteem. And she may do certain things out of spite. That's the energy that I'm feeling here. Look, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Nine of Pentacles in reverse is like, someone here will do things just to numb the pain. Someone will get into toxic um, states of mind or uh, being with people that can't fully love them or won't give them the love that they deserve just to, to numb how they're feeling they will get into meaningless or meaning yeah meaningless relationships just to numb the pain just to not feel but i'm hearing that someone's life is on the line someone wants more or expects more for themselves yeah, happiness. Someone deserves to be happy. And it's like, why isn't it happening? I want to manifest. I want to manifest this. I want to make sure that anything that's toxic, anyone that's toxic, that they can't get to ruin me. Someone here is damaged and you don't want that to fall back on you. Okay. Virgo. 
What do we need to know? So the overall energy is failure. So something didn't end up happening. I heard dead on arrival. And that doesn't need to be like literally. I'm hearing you couldn't, you couldn't make someone happy and you're learning to accept that. You grew apart, and that's okay. People do that sometimes. But at least you know that it wasn't because of anything that you've done. Or there isn't anything that you could do. But walk away. And that's what someone's choosing to do here. So, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal love reading, be sure to email me. And as always, thank you guys so much for being here. Stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one.